On the night of the inauguration, pirate captain Charles Vane lights a cigarillo and demands the author not commit suicide. Enough. Get up. I can't stand sniveling on the best of days, but this, what soft animals humans turned into standing on the backs of men like me who lived and died starving. All of this discovery, and you've wasted it on comfort. Comfort is the greatest weapon of your enemies. Give us your submission, they say, and we will comfort you. The world is as much a bear pit as it was when I was a child fighting for bread full of weevils in the London streets, but one man suddenly blown a hole in the safe, steady ship the world was supposed to be, and you want to leap through it into the dark brine? A clean death with a handful of medicine to match your clean life? How small. Here's the secret, child. There will always be ten fat old men in fine linen atop an empire's bones, whether it be the year 1720 or 2017. You do not get to depart gracefully. This is not your coming out ball. They are coming for you. You will never go back to feeling safe in the bed your father bought. You're afraid. All right. This is your first war, and many don't see a second. This rich prick who would be your king will do so by trying to climb over your sick, crippled body, but to fear death is a choice. Use money, tongue, your little hands to pull up those who would take to the streets, fill the jails, and throw the weapons with their strong bodies, and when the time comes, your allies will build a place for you in the crow's nest. There is no such thing as peace. Only self-respect. Now wash your goddamn face and go to bed. You'll need your rest for whatever comes.